What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and this video, I want to talk about the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake or Metal Gear Solid Delta. People were able to play it. Uh, it was funny, as you know, I made the video a couple days ago talking about 2025. Very much seems like that's going to be the case, right? Jumping kind of to the end, one of the things actually spotted in the PlayStation blog right up of this is, and they're the only ones I think that have said this, so people were kind of making a big deal out of it. They say that the release date for this game is going to be given later this year. Year. So may maybe Tokyo Game Show next month, maybe sometime in October, November. But this is this is smelling like a uh, early to mid 2025 game, right? If this was like a March, April type thing, I would not be shocked whatsoever. And you know they got to take their time. You give it to us when you're ready because the game is looking phenomenal. It always was, always was. We've heard the right things, we've seen the right things. Now these people get to play. I believe about an hour and a half, and they kind of got to play the prologue and. It honestly kind of sounds perfect. Now, to get a little bit more specific, the main thing we've heard is the respect, and I love it. I love to see it. Like, look, I'm actually not opposed to reimaginings. I'm not opposed to kind of taking some liberties here and there, as long as you kind of make it known. Like, I, I don't really like to be snuck up on, right? But when you're doing a Resident Evil 2 thing, or even like Dead Space, you know, back last year, like you knew in Dead Space, like, it's the same game, but now he's going to talk, Isaac, right? And that's going to change up some stuff. Final Fantasy is some weird hybrid, not that I, I actually really love it, but you know, it's a it's a reimagining, right? There's kind of a difference nowadays between a remake, a literal, you are remaking the game, and then what you would consider a reimagining, where you're kind, you're changing things, you're adding, you're subtracting, right? This is, by all definitions, a remake. And I spend so much time talking about it because at the core of what we learned today, that's what this game is. Now, we've heard that. Like, the developers have talked about they want us to judge them. They want us to tell them if we believe they're even worthy to keep work. They've said this, that they want us to tell them if we believe they're even capable of, of continuing, right? Like, did they do a good job here? And would we like them to do more in the future? They want the consumers to tell them that, right? The fans, basically. And I love hearing that. I think with the divorce of Hideo and Konami and all that stuff, and also just Metal Gear Solid 3 in general being the game that it is, this real is, I'll say this, being the game that it is, while also having the luggage of Konami, Kojima, etc., this is not the game to reimagine. This is not the game to take a hard left here and there. That would make people, I think, go on a riot against this team, right? And that goes against what they've talked about, and I really just think against kind of like the spirit of it. It just doesn't it doesn't seem right. You could probably get away with it with a different game, and maybe it works out, but for a game specifically in the situation that Metal Gear Solid 3 is, with the legacy and how good it is, with Kojima, with all that stuff... I think it's best to literally do a remake. Now, I spend so much time talking about it because that's, again, what people are saying is that's what this is. This is as as close as you can be to the point that there's still, there's not necessarily loading screens, but when you leave certain areas, they still have like the loading kind of blocks in them. And, you know, the, the screen will fade to black and then come back out. There's little to no actual loading time, but it is still going to separate you. I saw IGN specifically, I read their thing, I didn't actually watch their video, their video I think is like heavily disliked, they were just complaining nonstop. the whole write up that I read was just complaining that it was too samey, and it's interesting because, and I agree with people, when a game goes too far out, you have people complaining that it's too different, then when you have a game that's too similar, now it's too similar, right, and I mean, not everybody goes by that, again, like for me, I'm willing to give it space if it it needs it for a Final Fantasy. I'm willing to go along with it and kind of see out their vision, especially because so many of the OGs are back. So yeah, it depends on the situation. It depends on who's there. It depends on the legacy. It de you know, it depends on quite a bit of stuff. But it's funny that like an IGN specifically, right? If it deviated, you know they would make a point about the deviation because of Kojima, because of Konami. They would probably say things about the, hey, this is too far out. Now it's too close to the original, and now you're complaining that it's too close. Again, that is the main takeaway. And most of the previews, PlayStation Blog, I think Video Games Chronicle, maybe GameSpot, I know I think did a thing. Uh, you know, a lot of them, it was, it was praise for it, right? It was, this is everything you think of and remember for Metal Gear Solid 3, again, 
but with a lot of quality of life updates, right? So like rolling is now mapped and just kind of menu systems. They look a little bit more like MGS5, uh, some of the camera work, but you can kind of choose, right? They they added almost like a modern option if you feel like it to bring it up to modern audiences if they want to, right? While at the same time, you know, again, kind of expanding upon what was already in it or, or just making it more modern. Like nowadays, the way you switch weapons, the way that you roll, like there is a certain way of doing it. And what it was back then, you know, nobody really does it like that anymore. So those kind of things, and I'm totally cool with that as well. The injury kind of system, right, where like the injuries are going to stay with you. Now you can heal them, but nobody really got to uh, get to that point where you're able to actually like cure yourself. But, you know, they, they experience the injury thing where it lasts you know you can see it on him uh they talked about the camouflage of like rolling in mud i mean like a lot of stuff is very similar if not the exact same from the original game but it looks so good they're keeping it intact and uh, that attention to detail that, that's really what it is right like rolling in mud to the point of being like completely in camouflage and even like animals can't see you that like that is metal gear you know i mean that's not only metal gear but you know i mean that that is very close so I love it. I love to hear what we heard today. There, it seems like they're just sticking to what they've said, right? Like, if, we, if you love MGS3, and it's this very special game, it's one of the greatest games made of all time, kind of like historically, right? Like, it's oftentimes looked at as, well. you know, I, I, I am a Metal Gear fan. I don't think I've ever looked at it as, like, my favorite franchise or, like, the best games ever created. But, I mean, I, I can understand why it's on lists, right, when it's, like, a top five, top ten game of all time. I get it. I totally understand it. You like, I'm not saying you can't mess with those games. Again, I think you probably could, but just, you know, they're coming at, at an angle of respect. They know certain people aren't there anymore. They know what you're going to think about it, and they're trying to stay as close to pot with the voice acting, with the cutscenes, with the camera angles, with anything humanly possible. They're trying to stay as close to the original as they can, while also modernizing sounds like more of the controls and the mapping and the kind of inventory screen. Know, things like that right that's what they're kind of bringing up to 2024 slash 2025 standards and that's the stuff to do so i don't know why ign is complaining about it i guess they have that right to do so though uh but i'm very very excited and uh, very happy with what we heard today so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure as always you're subscribed to the channel bell icon turned on and i hope to see you all on the next one